I just got a comment, and it says the advantage of the Echo Flow is it shows the remaining capacity of the Echo Flow. So I was wondering myself because I added the extra battery, and uh, yeah, but how how do I know what capacity I have left? So. There's an easy way to do this. So you open up your Echo Flow app, and uh, I'm running a fan now, and it says one day and one hour. Here it says 25 hour. So the usage is 25 watt or 23 watt for this fan, which is plugged into the AC. So to figure out how much capacity the Echo Flow has after the upgrade with the extra battery, 23 times 25, 575. So theoretically, the original battery has 288 and the add-on battery has 288 so that would make it 576 so when I started the test it shows 98% charge so it's right up there so I, I know I actually have the capacity that uh, was added so now I'm confident that the capacity has been added to the original battery. I wasn't sure before because on the app itself, when you turn it on, this is the old or the original Echo Flow um, name. And when you press this here, this river river is what i had originally without the extra battery but with the extra battery it has become a river max so so should i add the river max but when i try that it didn't really uh, add the unit to it because basically it's the same unit right so That wouldn't help me uh, in determining the capacity of the battery because with this unit here, it's only 288 watts. So by doing this test, I know, I know I have 575 watt hour after the installation. So when it is charging, the blue LED will go that way.